Please, I'm really, I'm okay. So are you? No, Stuart. No, it can't be. The cabin and the fire. No, I, it wasn't me, Adam. I, I feel real sorry for whoever it was, but, but I, it wasn't me. Where have you been? I was in a bad, really bad car accident. And I hurt my head pretty good. I didn't remember anything about me or, or you or anything for a really long time. Look, you need to rest now. Okay, we, we have a lot of time to talk about this. Because we're both okay now. <laughs> Dear God! We, we got a lot, of, a lot of catching up to do, you know? Got a, a fishing trip to take. And hey, we'll go just as soon as you feel better, okay? I did this to you. We lost you. Because... No. Forget about that. It's over. But I hurt you. <laughs> I hurt everyone. I bet I'm the only one in this room that knows why. <laughs> you always thought you had to be so tough. When we were little, the only way to protect me was to be tough and push people around. Well, in those old days, I guess maybe I did need you to do that for me, but I, I should have, I should have told you that I can take care of myself now. All by myself. I'm very strong. I'm really very strong. I'm almost as strong as you are. You gave me that. You've given me my life back. You, you look around you. The people in this room, how much love there is, is right there for you to take if you just let it in. Your kids are crazy about you. Colby and Sky. All you have to do is stop pushing them away and you can have a life full of, of love and laughter. Don't you see that? We lost you. He's not lost anymore. Uncle Stuart. Give me for a minute, Adam. He's wide awake. He's talking. I can't believe it. Look at, look at Junior. Look at how happy he is. He looks great. They all do. Stuart, say Adam. Did I hear someone say Stuart? I... I found Stuart and brought him back to Adam. I... I saved my husband's life. No. Oh, I have to go tell. You almost killed Stuart, Arlene. You didn't save anyone. This is normal. I guess those antibiotics really kicked in. Looks like you're gonna be fine, Adam. Just take it slow for a while. We'll see to it that he does. Normally, I would throw all of you out of here, but 
I guess I can let you stay for a little while longer. Thank you, Doc. It's good to see you again, Stuart. Yeah, you too. up to do, especially to you. Don't worry about me, Dad. I'll be fine. But I do worry about you. I've been one rotten dad to you. You told me to forget about you. But I couldn't. And even though it seemed like sometimes you hated me, I still love you. You're my dad. I love you too. I never stopped. And I never will. dare to stand here and say that you saved Adam and you almost killed Stuart and kept him away from all of us? Oh, you drank yourself into a stupor, Arlene, and got behind the wheel of a car probably for the hundredth time, didn't you? You got behind the wheel of a car drunk and you hit Stuart and you left him lying on the road, lying there to bleed to death. The night Arlene ran into the community center was the same night Stuart disappeared. You mowed down the man and then what did you do, Arlene? You drove away like nothing was wrong, like nothing ever happened. Dear good Lord, how do you live with it yourself, Arlene? Tell me that, will you? You said that night that you did it again, but you didn't say what it was because you were so drunk. You were so drunk you couldn't even finish a sentence. Or did you just shut up, you know, so you could cover your tracks? Look, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't when know are you going to stop? About when are you going to stop? When you finally manage to kill somebody, you stupid ignorant. Brooklyn, let me. I don't want to do this now. I'm not heartless. I'm not. I look. I woke up the next morning and I didn't remember anything about Stuart or hitting him or look. I, I didn't even know what happened to, to him until I found out that he was at that Queen of Hearts cafe in the desert weeks later. He was out there. That place in Nevada. What, what was he doing all the way out there? Hey everybody, Adam's feeling much better. Hey, your dad. Stuart, you are one good-looking guy. Oh. Hi, Dixie. Hi. We all missed you so much. You have no idea what it was like without you. You know, I don't really want to talk about all the things we thought we lost. Let's just... I just want to forget all about all that stuff, okay? Oh, no, Stuart, but you can't forget about what Arlene did. And I know I'll never forget. Because she has to pay for what she did, Stuart, and you're the only one who can make her pay. So make her pay. Do you have a, a cell phone that Stuart can call Lieutenant Fry with? Oh, no, Mary, it's okay. No, please, Stuart. No, I'm, I'm not calling Look, the police. Look, you have to call them. No, I can't. Man, I have to do what I, what I feel is right in my heart. You remember the whole time that I was, I was alone, walking around not knowing who I was? trying to, to feel the things that I thought I was supposed to feel. Because the, the things that I was really feeling I couldn't remember in my head. And, and, and it, was, it was driving me nuts. And then all of a sudden, I, out of the air, I painted your picture, the, the Queen of Hearts, and that made me feel so good. But it made me so angry. 
because I knew I was this close to knowing what I was supposed to feel. I just couldn't get to it. And then Darlene came along. And she, she made me remember things. Noises and, and voices. But Stuart, why didn't she bring you home, back to us? I guess because she was afraid. And because she wasn't supposed to, I was supposed to find my own way. My own way home. Don't you understand? Blaming Arlene isn't going to do anything for us. I'm here. We're together. Everything, everything worked out exactly the way it should. But, Stuart, you weren't supposed to get hurt. You weren't supposed to lose your memory. And all of that happened because of Arlene. Marion, I was lost before Arlene ever hit me with that car. I had turned my back on my brother at a time when he needed me most. I'd stopped feeling. And I had to learn how all over again. The hard way. Arlene, I don't blame you. I, I want to thank you. Oh, my God. You, you brought me back here in time to save my brother's life. That must have been terrifying for you. I'll never forget what you did, Annie Oakley. Never. I hear you're on the JV soccer team this year. You know about that. Well, I keep up. Not as much as I should, but well, I haven't been myself. Junior, I am so proud of you. I'm proud of who you are. Who you are right now. Hey, I, I think I owe you a fishing trip, don't I? You do. Okay, you hold me to it. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. I'm glad you're back. Me, too. you about your wedding day. No, don't say it doesn't matter. I missed something incredible and important that day. I should have been there to tell you that you honor me every day. Should have walked you down the aisle and watched you marry your husband. Mateo's a fine man. He really loves you. I love you, too. So don't give up on me. I, I missed you so much. Oh, don't you ever try to leave me again. person I'd like to like to see first. I'll go get her. It's okay. Stuart, I don't know how I'll be able to thank you. You're an incredible man. Hey, have you guys seen Liza? She was here a minute ago. I well, don't know where she went. Is your dad looking for her? Yeah, he is. I just hope she'll see him.
children will be back in a moment here on ABC. Arlene, are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Stuart. I'm just gonna splash my face with a little water. Listen, that's that's all I heard. All right, Stuart, he's not into paybacks. I... Just when I think my mother can't do anything else to harm herself I or know. other people. I know. I don't want to be here anymore. Come on, take me out of here. Let's go for a walk. Okay. Your dad told you that he loved you, huh? He's changed, Mom. He's a better person than he used to be. Well, that's great. I'm really happy for you. You must be hungry. What do you say we go get something to eat and then you can come back and spend some more time with your dad? Please. Oh, great. Okay, go, go ahead. I love you. I love you too. See you in a bit. Tired. If you like, you can take a nap in my office. The couch is really comfortable. Thanks. Um, I'm okay. I'm not tired. I'm gonna go say hi to Stuart. Okay. Excuse me. You care about her, don't you? Well, she was a patient of mine once, and now she works for I me. I get so. it. I get it loud and clear. But here's the thing. She's got a family, loves her a lot. And we do a really good job of looking after her, so you don't have to. You understand? Ted. Yeah. Hi, I got Marion's message to come right down. What, uh, what's going on? I thought Uncle Adam was in critical condition. Scott. You better hang on to something, because that is Nana. Adam, you know, nothing's been really quite right. I mean, we break up and we get back together and we break up and we just keep doing it over and over again. Fighting and getting even and I suppose what I'm asking is that you just put an end to it. I think I can do it. But I think I need a little divine intervention. So, what I'm asking is if you can just end the way that I feel for Adam. Can you just keep me from loving him? Liza, Adam has been asking for you. Hey, looks like Adam's asleep. Good. Um, your son and I are about ready to go home. You want to come? Yeah, I'm going to stop by the office first, though. Um, I'll see you in a bit, okay? Okay. Okay. See you. I'm sorry. You Let's go, Lizzie. And yeah, you drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Haley. I know you want to rip me apart. Go ahead. Actually, I don't. What you did tonight, bringing Uncle Stewart here to see Dad, is actually the only thing you've ever done that proves something to me. 
Well, what's that? You do have a heart. And I would be most appreciative if you would use it more often. Mom. Just a little something for you to chew on, Arlene. I don't know how many people you're going to have to answer to, but just know that I'm high on your list. Right where you are, Arlene. Oh, Marion, I'm going in to see my husband. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, you know, I know that you're still angry at me, but your husband got over it, and I hope you will, too. Over it? If I could find a way to get you on a gurney with a toe tag, you'd be in one of those steel drawers in the basement so fast that what's left of your head would be spinning. by my side. <laughs> Doesn't it mean Let's not do that now. I, I don't want to ignore the truth. And I, neither should you. No, I, can't, I know I can't. I can't. We were terrible to each other. We hurt each other terribly. I doubted your love. You doubted mine. But look at us right here, right now. We're here together. We got through all the pain and the hurt and the anger. And I am certain in my soul that everything has changed. I was a dead man. I went to hell, and I came back. I came back for you. And how many times are we going to do this? I know. Uh, a few hundred times I've, I've, I've said I've changed. I said, this is different. My brother came back and mended my heart. It was a miracle. And now I am free to love you forever the way you deserve to be loved. All you have to do is let me in. And I'll 
never leave you again. I'm not overstating it. I died and came back. It was a miracle. My brother healed my heart and allowed me to love you really, truly, maybe for the first time. I don't think I've ever had a full heart before. And all I want to do is share it with you. And call me. If you'll let me. You're worried about Colby and me, aren't you? How am I supposed to just forget the things that you said to me about me, about my daughter, that you didn't want anything to do with me or her? I said those things to protect you from me and what I've become. But whatever I said, whatever... I did. I didn't mean it. I never, never stopped loving you and called me. I hid it. I stuffed it down. But I didn't kill it. And Stuart set it free. It was the most amazing thing. And now I want to give it to you. It's scary, I know, but I, I, I love you, and I want to prove it. If you just let me, just say the word, and I'll love you forever. All my children will be back in a moment here on ABC. What is it? Please don't shut down on me now. No, it's it's just it's just too soon, Adam. It's it's too soon to say these things to to know how I feel. Is it? I, I'm so grateful that you're okay. I'm so thankful to be sitting here with you and to hear so much love coming from inside of you after you haven't had anything inside you for so long. But I don't see us together. I don't have a reference point. I just, I can't visualize it. Well then, just start over. Whole new context. Mm, it's as simple as that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What do we try and find out? You're like a kid. Well, that, that should be a step in the right direction, I would think. Can, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. Um, when you were broken, when you were at your bottom, you, you didn't turn to me. Why? Why did you push me away? I, uh, the, the only way I could cope was to turn away from you, Liza. You didn't just turn away from me, did you? Liza, And I... you turned to Arlene. Yes. And I know that, that hurt you very deeply. I know, I know it's small comfort to you now, but I did it to protect you from me. You turned to Arlene. Do you know how warped that is? I betrayed you. You know, I, I know that you didn't love her. It didn't even bother me that you, you were sleeping with her. Well, I mean, that's a lie. It did bother me, but I think what really hurt me, what still hurts me, is that you just, you didn't turn to me you told me that you didn't love me and that you never had. Don't give up on me now. Adam. Wait, wait. Even if, it... if you used Arlene as protection, I can't lean into that. 
I have to be wise. I have to protect my heart. I have to protect my child. Dear God, Liza, we've been given a second chance. You're not going to just turn your back on that now. I didn't say that. You didn't? No. What did you say? I, I didn't say no. I didn't say that we wouldn't find our way back to each other. But it takes time. Adam, it, it takes time to heal. And I've wasted so much time already. I, I just, uh, I don't want to wait another second. Well, I, I haven't had your personal epiphany. I haven't seen the light. I haven't made my way back to myself. Not yet. Don't give up on me. Not now. Don't give up on us. I can promise you that. I'm not going anywhere. And, uh, Colby's not either. I, I've exhausted you, I think. Yeah, that's uh, Good tired. I think you should close your eyes and get some rest. Will you stay with me for a while? I'll stay. I've got something for you, sir. For your pain. fear of losing you. I can't wait to get you back home so you'll be your strong, gorgeous self. No, I mean our charade of a marriage is over. Oh, Adam. This unfortunate on. chapter in our life is done. Adam, I don't think no, you should no, talk. No, no, I, want you, I want you out of my life. Ar Arlene. Ar the simple fact is I can't stand the sight of you. <laughs> I want you to take the $500,000 I offered you out of my life. You think you can just give me money and I'll walk away? I know you can make it hard for me. But you won't. You're going to take the high road for once in your life. For once in my life? Well, I... I brought Stuart back to you. You had him locked in the attic. And I could have left him there, but I let him go because... I wanted you to know that your brother was alive. You, you knew he was alive for months. You didn't tell any of us. Well, Stuart was happy in Nevada. He didn't remember his past at all. <laughs> because you ran over him with your car. Well, I didn't know what I was doing. I was drunk. <sighs> oh. Look, I didn't... together with me was some sick, disgusting mistake. I know that. But I don't feel the same way. I mean, these past few months, they were, they were great for me. I mean, and it's not just because of the money. I mean, sure, it was nice to have a roof over my head and not to have to feel like I had to... Well, that I have to be nice to somebody for the next meal. I mean, it was because you felt well, that you needed me. I needed you because I wanted people to think I was a lost cause. I, I don't care. I just don't care. When I had you in my arms, it's like we felt alive again. And you can deny it all you want, but we were a great team. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you, Arlene. If you agree to the annulment, I'll give you the half a million. I'll hold my half of the bargain up. 
The only bargain that I remember is till death do us part. And the only way I'm going to leave this marriage is with feet first. Well, he seems a lot stronger, darling. Hmm. He's bucking orders from the doctor. Liza, maybe you should go back in. Hmm. No. We've said everything we need to say to each other. Well, and you've got time to rebuild your life together. But, my darling, you've got one great big fat problem. He's no. married to somebody else. Mother, I am not worried about Arlene. I think that her days in Pine Valley are numbered if I have to put her on the bus myself. Why don't you let me take care of her, darling? I'd love to get rid of her. Mother, please don't go overboard. Look, after what she did to Stuart, a one-way bus ticket out of town just doesn't seem ugly enough to me, Eliza. I would like that woman to go through something slow and excruciating. Hey, I can help. Well, I should ask you. Uh, Adam's requested to see me. How is he? He's better. You yeah. should look for yourself. Why is Arlene dressed like a doctor? What? Oh, she's relentless. And you still think I'm going overboard? Oh. Did you say slow and excruciating? That's right, darling, I did. Mother, how brave are you? Arlene, be smart. $500,000 is a lot of money. Why can't you believe that I don't give a damn about the money? Look, I could have left Stuart in that attic, and you would have died. I would have inherited billions of dollars. I don't want to be your widow. I want to be your wife. Just give me a chance. Stuart thinks I should forgive everything you've done. That's right. I will forgive you. If we part amicably. If you want to fight, you're going to get one. All right, well then bring it on, baby. If all you're going to give me is cash, then I'm going to make sure I get every cent that is coming to me. Get ready for the ugliest divorce this country's ever seen. Would you just get out of here? I am talking to my husband. Arlene, Adam isn't well. Shut up. Shut up? You've got a lot of nerve talking like that, especially coming in your dress like that. I hope but you think you are. You know what? You're right. Just leave Arlene alone. So what, you're going to take my side now, Liza? You know, Arlene, I just know that this isn't easy. I don't need your pity. I'm not pitying you, all right? I, I talked with Stuart, and Stuart convinced me I should be a little more gracious to you, a little more grateful to you. Well, Stuart thinks that I shouldn't be blamed for what I did. Yes, because, because you did the right thing in the end. You came through for Adam. And I saved his life. Yes, you did. Thank you. You're welcome. See? Stuart and Liza both think I'm not a terrible person. You know, he needs his rest. And so do you. Yeah, well, I'm a little tired. I've been up since uh, the building collapsed. I can take you home. No, I'll stay here. Okay. I mean, you're not going to get anything done tonight, and I would think that you'd be hungry. Lucretia could make you something hot, and it's not hospital food. Yeah, I am hungry. Well, let's go, then. And we'll be here tomorrow. Uh... You're being a little too nice to me, Liza. Look, Arlene, it's time to set the animosity aside. I think we should greet Stuart back into our family. We should all try to be a little bit more like him. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, Adam. Ted, don't stay too long. He needs his rest. Mm -hmm. 
My God, what's Liza gonna do to her? I have no idea. But if I were Arlene, I'd leave a trail of breadcrumbs and start praying now. I want to go to my own room. Oh, but darling, this is your new room. <laughs> now, what about that little thing you were saying about how we all have to think about each other and be more like Stuart? You're going to be exactly like Stuart was for a few days, Arlene. Locked in the attic. Only by two people who could really care less whether you live or die. Yeah. All in Go good time. On. I was stupid to go with you. Actually, you were uh, a, a little stupid. Because you were angry and you were frustrated. You were very vulnerable. You were actually an easy target. Just like Stuart was when you mowed him down. And Adam, when he thought Stuart was dead. You know, you hit all your targets, Arlene. And you almost had the prize. You, you <laughs> actually could be sitting on billions. But you choked. Look where you are now. Okay, so you lock me up so I can see the errors of my ways. How long is it going to be? Hmm? A day? Two? You can't do this to me. People will miss me. They'll start looking for me. Really? And who would that be? Adam? Haley? It's no use, Arlene. Nobody cares what happens to you. We can do whatever we want to you. Help! Help! No use, Arlene. Stuart and I screamed our lungs out. In the attic, they can't hear you scream. <laughs> you know what? You should conserve your energy. You're going to need it in the morning. Why? What's going to happen in the morning? We'll see. In the meantime, I would um, find something to cover myself up with and a safe place to sit on in because this attic is just riddled with rats. Rats? That's right. Great big rats, but I'm sure you're going to feel right at home. You know what? You can't scare me. I can take whatever you dish out. Really? Uh-huh. Can you? Wait, wait, Liza! Liza! Let me out of here! Liza! Thanks for waiting. How could I leave? You haven't told me why you wanted to see me in the first place. I want to know what you're planning. What I'm planning? Mm hmm. How you're going to punish me for my crimes. You're going to have to talk to the board about that. After all, the building's completely total. And then again, there's the DA. He's probably going to want to file charges against you for everything, including terrorism. All right, all right. I'm not worried about the DA or the board. I'm worried about you. You have been my enemy. I have no need to go after you. That'll be a first. Maybe. But it's high time I started thinking about Junior. And my wife. I should have listened to her from the very start. She's been right all along. There's nothing I could possibly do to you that you haven't done to yourself. <laughs> Touche. So I've been granted a reprieve. Oh, I didn't say that. You may not be doing any jail time, but from where I'm standing, it looks like you've completely destroyed your life. I mean, it looks like there's nothing left. I'm sorry. I probably enjoyed saying that a little too much. No, be my guest. No. Liza might have been stringing Arlene along just now, but there's one thing she said that's absolutely the truth. It's a miracle that Stuart's alive. And after everything that's happened, I think we should all try to be a little more like him. My God, that's just what I need. It's the only way I'm going to survive this. I know you're not going to believe it, but I, uh, I regret everything I've done. And I want to apologize to you. Well, if that's it, then consider it done. If you'll excuse me, I should be... Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm not just apologizing for all of my acts of violence. For months, I've been undermining your work at Chandler Enterprises. Oh, Jinkies, really? 
really. Out of spite. Out of envy. But it didn't work. You've been doing a terrific job. Profits are high. Morale is high. Acknowledge that. It's Liza's master stroke to have brought you in as a partner. Well, it's um, a once-in-a-lifetime compliment. It's interesting hearing those words coming out of your mouth. Good, because here's what I'm thinking. After I've come back, I want you to stay on. You want me to stay on? Yes. Yes, I, I, will, I will make sure that your position in the company is secure. Oh, oh, Adam, that is just really generous of you. But um, probably the trauma you've been through, but you seem to be forgetting one thing. The board ousted you months ago. I'm in. You are out. And that's all. Just us. We decided to take pity on you and bring you a little soup. Hot from the kitchen. A little book, a little Jane Eyre. Yes, and I brought you a box of rat poison, see? Oh, would you? I don't need you to. Really, you thought you might be cold and hungry and prey to rodents. I'd take what's offered if I were you, Arlene. You know, I think you're going to like that book. Especially that part about the... Crazy wife who's locked in the attic and burns to death. Hi, so don't give away the ending. Uh, hey, leave it and go. You know, I think I'd rather be poisoned to death, but... Anyway, if we don't see you, good luck. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Um, don't see me. I mean, uh, are you planning on going somewhere? No. No, we're not, we're not going anywhere. Don't tell her anything, darling. Wait, what, what are you two planning? You'll find out soon enough, Arlene, soon enough. Eliza, um, is, um, everything set? Yeah, you know, it was good that we had that 20000 in the safe. 20000 Yeah, that's pricey. 20000 just for the kidnapping and the rest. Wait, wait, what? The rest worth more. Wait, wait, what are you talking about kidnapping and, and, uh, the rest? I mean, what are you, what are you planning? Look, the less she knows, the better, Eliza. The less I know about what? Well, actually, it might be more fun if she knows, Mama. You know, darling, you're right. Okay. You see, <clears throat> before the sun comes up, you are going to have a special visitor. A man from Singapore. <laughs> Singapore. That's right, where they came, people, for the slightest crime, Arlene. Your crime is not going to be slight. You are going to be convicted of drug smuggling and sentenced to 30 years hard labor. That's impossible. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I, I would have thought so, but I was amazed. Chandler Enterprises has so much influence. Adam can get an annulment from you and never have to lay eyes on you ever again. Uh, yeah, well, it won't work. You, you can't get rid of me that easily. Darling, she's right. It won't work. It's too risky. Yeah, listen to your mother. Why don't you just terminate her here? Or should I say exterminator here? You want me to kill her? What are you talking about? Well, it's the safest thing for all of us, and we can just rest easy, darling. Well, Mama, I don't want to be the one to kill her. I mean, she's a human being. Darling, there's absolutely nothing human about Arlene. All right, what do you want? You want to be dead before sunup or 30 years hard labor? <laughs> um, you're, you're playing with my head, and I'm, I'm letting you. I mean, who do you think I am? What, I was going to... Beg for your forgiveness and then take the next bus out of town. She's too smart for us, Mama. Oh, I think you're right, darling. Okay, good. So I'm going to eat this hot soup that you brought me, and then I'm going to go to sleep. Get this way. Oh, be careful, Arlene. It's open. Oh, and I do hope none of it spilled into your soup. By accident, of course. What do you think you're dealing with? Ladies, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm going to call you bluff. Dad, I don't want to replace you, Eliza. I want to work with you. How much concrete landed on your head? Now, hear me out. Dad, I love the business. I want to get back into it. 
I promise you, there are going to be no, no dirty tricks, no manipulation. I just... I want people to know that I'm an honest man running an honest business. You want to do this for Liza? Yes. I love her. And I think I could be good for her now. And Colby. And Junior. And, and Haley. So please, I'm asking you, go to the board. Ask them if they'll reinstate me as, as part of a triumvirate. We'll start over. It will benefit a lot of people if we do. Mostly you. I'll get back to you, Adam. You'll get back to me? Who the hell you... Uh, I, I guess I don't have any cards to play anymore, and... Uh... Fine, good. If you'll do that, if you'll get back to me. I will. You said you wanted to get some sleep, so maybe that would be a good idea. So I'll be all fresh for Singapore Sam in the morning? Right. Well, good night, ladies. By the time you come up again, I'll be long gone. It says in this box the rat poison is fast acting and expect immediate results. That's right, Arlene. I think you're going to be long gone sooner than you think. Mother, you, you didn't. Well, of course I did, Liza. That's the only way. And her remains will be quite easy to dispose of. <laughs> well, you two just never give up, do you? Mama, Mama rat poisoning is, is painful. It's excruciating. I know, darling. So, um, I think we better get out of here because it's not going to be a very pretty thing to watch. And I really, truly hope it's not too painful for you, Arlene. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry. Boys and half. Oh, come on, Arlene. Oh. 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 Oh.